Hi, I'm the artist Robert Ranieri that painted this painting, and it's one of a series of, of somewhat architectural paintings. It's called uh, The Path to the Aqueducts, and so there's an architectural bias, let's say, which is pervasive in a number of my works, and what happens when I start a painting, no matter which painting, look very small as these are, that you'll, and you'll be seeing larger ones on my website as well, that they are excavations. I'm conscious of the canvas plane, or this is a wooden panel, so it's a flat surface, and then the, the imperative is to decide which, uh, how, what kind of depth I want to create. And since I prefer a somewhat deeper space, it's not a graphic art design, which is flat like the alphabet. And you have then various devices that, for example, this upside down V is actually shaped so that this half, this leg is pushing back into the space. So it's it's torqued or it's twisted a bit. And then interlocking with this, which is a rather prominent ele first element of the design, you have this intercession of these forms, which seem to enter under or come out from, whether it's attempting to be a symbol of water or flowing water. That's really not the main issue. I'm not trying to depict a very specific thing that one can say, oh, I recognize that. And so that I can feel like I'm staging something, which is a, a coordinating of several disparate units of form. You can see that you can almost divide this in half. There's one unit up here and another one down here. And within that, you again, you see several divisions. As you mentioned here, this so-called water pattern flowing in or out of. And then you have, of course, the way this large dark works. And it's picked up by, it's a kind of exclamation mark where the line of this uh, yellow olive color picks up on that long direction. So you have a kind of continuity and a connection through the painting all the way down to that point. And so there's an overlapping of this system with this section here we mentioned. And within this lower section, you have several other kinds of divisions. There's a circulinear pattern here, ovoids, which suggest uh, if you want to think of bathhouses that have divisions of certain pools, warm, cool, and tepid. And then down here, other forms of dark, which are not necessarily referring to a specific ar architectural uh, detail, but it introduces a, a curvilinear form, what looks like large uh, rock forms or masonry. But at this point, the specific uh, individual units are immaterial. It's basically how this larger unit interlocks uh, that is one area to another, the kind of cool of this and then the warmer tones down here. So there's a staging that is very uh, deliberate and uh, based on some internal logic that develops even as I work. So that is the cause here and you'll be seeing more and you'll hear me commenting in this regard again and again. Thank you for visiting.